This is the IP scanner. It's a nifty little tool by Landsweeper. It allows you to scan your local network. So let's provide our range and see what we can find. All right, the results are in. Let's have a look. So we have a laptop, computer, a printer, firewall, a bunch of switches and so on. Okay, it looks like we found quite a few things. Let's look around and let's take a look at this computer, for instance. All right, so we can see the IP address, uh, the device itself, the operating system, the manufacturer and the model. Now, for this machine, we've also found a bunch of ports. These are listed here. And one of them hmm, is actually a potential risk, uh, namely the RDP port. If you take a look at some other devices, we can find that these devices might have other alerts as well. Like this device right here has surpassed its end of life date. These alerts can be configured here in the settings menu. If you go to alert rule tabs, you can enable and disable any alert rule that you like. Going back to the machine that we visited before, you can see that we have a whole bunch of ports right here. You can configure how we scan for ports. If you go to settings and port scanning, you can select how many ports should be scanned. By default, we scan the most used ports. You can also specify how aggressive we scan. Aggressive is the fastest, cautious is the slowest, but it's a little bit more careful with your devices. So let's take a look at a different device. I'll select the switch right here. And we can see all the details that we saw before, including the manufacturer and the model. This one also has a risk and a bunch of ports. But we also find a bunch of additional information because this is a network device. For instance, here we have the interfaces. Let's take a closer look. You can see the names and you can even see the devices that are connected to this particular interface. Now, since we know this device is connected to the switch, wouldn't it be nice if we can scan it as well? I'll get back to you on that in a little while. More information can be found right here in the IP tab. For instance, here you can find information about your route table. There's also information about interface stacking. And we also collect information about your neighbors by using OSPF, BGP and EGP. Right, so I just mentioned that when we scan a switch or a firewall or any network device, that device might know other devices. It's nice that we can scan those devices as well. And if you take a look, you can see right here we have iteration one and two. So first we try to find all the devices in your specified range, but then we can go beyond that range and find the devices connected to your switches and firewalls. For instance, this printer was found in the second iteration and this IP address is actually not part of the original range. If you don't want that behavior, you can turn it off if you like. So right here in the settings, you have this strict setting, which will only scan the ranges that you entered. But you can also search for direct neighbors or even include entire ranges that your switches and firewalls are connected to. All right, that's it for this demo. If you have some feedback, you can use the built-in feedback form.